and welcome back to Ruta Stories. So it's been a couple of weeks since I last did my house renovation update and so I wanted to share with you all the footage of what the builders have been doing, kind of take you behind the scenes but also just to update you guys. There's been a lot of development and I think the last video I left you guys at was us or the builders putting up the big steel work and that was really exciting the last few weeks the builders have been working around the clock very very long hours and days um, basically building up the room and I will share all the footage of that in a minute and then after I've shared all that footage, I will take you for a tour into the space and show you what builders have done and where we're up to. But essentially, we are having the kitchen installed next week, so Monday. And I'm filming this over a weekend, so basically in a couple of days time. And so the builders have been working really, really hard just so that we can make sure we hit that deadline of the kitchen install. The kitchen is being installed by not our builders, but where we bought our kitchen from. And they were very descriptive in how the room had to be. So the room had to be pretty much finished with the flooring all down, the walls all painted, even if it's not the final paint, uh, it had to at least be primed. Um, the ceilings had to be on, obviously. Lights had to be cut out and we had to know the placement of the lights and all of that. So yeah, there's been a lot of work that has gone on in the last few weeks and you will see how crazy the transformation has been. Literally, we went from a shell to essentially a full full finished room in the last three weeks which blows my mind um but yeah stay tuned and i'll insert the all the footage the main objective of week 11 is to move in and secure the big steel so here you can see the builders are preparing the site to maneuver such a big steel in we've also made the decision to take off the chimney stack from the roof line all the way down to the ground level so the builders took down the chimney pots and everything else like that all the way from the top here you can see that the builders have brought back those two blue genie machines to help maneuver the steel in place. This steel, I believe, measures roughly about nine meters long. So it is a big, big chunk of metal and they use the genies to elevate it and make sure it's secure, everything's level and it's positioned correctly. And then once they've put it all into position, the builders have put more needles up to secure it and to support it so that everything's in place. Once it is all in place and all secured, they remove the two blue genie machines and take that off site. Now here you can see that now that the steel work is in, the builders are beginning to prepare the new roof in the extended part of the kitchen. from upstairs you can see the builders are putting in the wooden joists that would essentially make up the roof and they've also allowed the holes where the skylights will be then they put on the board which will be our new roof and then as they do that they just prepare all the bits downstairs to make sure everything is cabled up correctly, that all the electrics and the lighting, everything's fed through the joists correctly before everything gets kind of closed up. Here you can see that they are preparing the roof with insulation and those are the silver foam and then they put the boards on top. So after they've done this, downstairs again they're just making sure that all the wires in the right place 
they've accounted for all the spotlights correctly and everything like that. So once the builders have put all the cables in place, then they prepare the floor by laying down that black membrane, similar to what they did with the foundations. And then they laid down the insulation. And once that was all level, then they screeded the floor and made everything level um, between the new area and the old area. So once that is all done and drying, you can see that the builders are insulating the walls. So there's been lots of foam going into the walls. And then again, they plastered over that insulation with plasterboard. And you can see the builders working their way around the room, covering all the areas that need to be covered. The roofers have come on site and here they're making the roof watertight. The material that they're using is essentially what is used to line swimming pools. So it should be, fingers crossed, super, super watertight and it should never leak. Then moving on to week 14, our plasterer has arrived on site and he is plastering over the plasterboards, creating what will be our uh, wall and that's super exciting. He spent a lot of time going over the walls with plaster and he tells me that essentially the walls are plastered with two coats and they are skimmed like six to eight times so that helps smooth out any any bumps or cracks or anything like that. Then as the walls are drying off, you can see the builders are preparing the floor and here they are laying down boards, the ones coloured in silver, and that is for our underfloor heating. So those are the boards that's got little track marks in there so that the builders can then lay down the pipes for the underfloor heating and here you can see they're unravelling that massive white roll of piping into the floor and that actually takes quite a while to do because there is a big surface area and the grooves for the piping is actually quite narrow so there's a lot of meterage in that underfloor heating. So here we are bifolds are yet to come so the builders have put up a temporary door so I've been very grateful to them for that and this is it voila the, our space and here you can see this is the extended part of the house previously the old external wall was right there underneath this beam. And now we have two massive, massive skylights. Can't even get them in the frame. Really happy about this. We were worried about how much light would actually flood into the kitchen. And this is it. So it would be a lot more lighter once we get those bifolds put in. They are being delivered in two days time. So that's gonna be done and it'll be amazing, I'm sure. And then here we go. So currently we've got all the walls plasterboarded and the walls have also been primed with the first coat of paint, white paint or primer paint. It was sprayed on, they call it mist coat, but it's been sprayed on and all of these are cables, electricity cables because we are having like the fridge freezer, dishwasher, we've got some wall lights going in and then we've got plumbing for our sink and also it will have to pull on over through to the fridge freezer section because our fridge freezer is going to be plumbed and then we're also having our dishwasher somewhere in this vicinity so all of the plumbing will be along this stretch of the wall which I think makes sense then we've got some more cables over here which is for 
the under cabinet lighting and then we've got the extractor hood coming through somewhere in this space and then our range cooker I think is going to be in this area and then we've got our plug sockets here one in the corner of the room one here and then also here we've got some in the bottoms of the room and on the other side of the wall so we've got lots and lots of plug sockets which is brilliant accidentally told the builder to put one in here forgetting that we're actually having a tongue and groove paneling going across here um, by the sink and so yeah just taking you through this is this eerie space is our existing hallway and when you go through our existing hallway less echoey this is our utility and boot room space whilst over on this side this is going to be where the under the stairs downstairs wc is gonna go plumbing drainage all going to be sorted out through there so essentially from the house we will walk through the hallway into this space and on this side we plan to have as mentioned the fridge freezer here dishwasher some counter space the sink corner cabinets then you've got in between these two plug sockets our range cooker and we will also have an extractor like canopy situation and then moving over we'll then have a couple more cupboards and then a pantry then over here in the middle of the floor we are going to have an island and then we've got some electrical cables coming through because in our island we want to have some plug sockets for charging phones and laptops everything else like that but also we are having a wine cooler kind of built into this kind of island formation and then on this wall where the plug sockets are here we are having a breakfast dresser and that will kind of house all of our drinks our coffee machine probably our microwave too all the breakfast items, so cereals, porridge, teas, coffees, but also we'll probably have our wine glasses and everything in there too. And then moving back, we plan to have our dining table kind of stretch in front of our bifolds. And the idea is that we would have them looking out into what will eventually be a fabulous garden. And then we've got our lighting, pendant lighting over the island. And then here we've got pendant lighting for our dining table. So yeah, this is everything. So this wall with the pink plasterboard is a fire rated plasterboard. You can't see it now, but the plasterboard on the ceiling was blue and that was for sound insulation. And that's something that we opted to put in because we noticed that in the old kitchen, sound just traveled through into the bedroom upstairs. So we definitely wanted to have some sound insulation put in. And then the walls are just regular plasterboard. And then the flooring, really happy with this. So we went with porcelain. I really, really wanted limestone tiles, but we ended up going with porcelain because that was something that doesn't need treating. It's like man-made and so it's not porous in any way. It won't absorb any spilt wine or coke or curries or anything that stains. Whilst natural stone, like a limestone, because it's porous, it would just absorb all the, those stains and watermarks and everything else like that into the stone. And that's definitely something that we didn't want. We wanted something which is super low maintenance. And we ended up 
on picking this because it kind of mimics natural stone. But it is porcelain and therefore super easy to maintain. And I really like it. We did end up going for a brick, if you're going from this angle, a brick kind of formation. We didn't want it laid down like a grid. Just because, I don't know, I, I felt like that didn't really work for us. Um, and it was too much a neat formation if it was a grid style. But we also ended up picking um, grout colour that matched back to the tiles. So that was really, really good. I actually need to get the name of the grout colour because our builder did a really, really good job in kind of blending the colour back to the, the tiles. And it was his recommendation that we go for this because he understood that we kind of wanted all the tiles to blend in. We didn't want to have a sharp contrast from the tiles to the grout, like a sharp white or a, a dark gray or something like that. So this works really well. And I really like the fact that with these tiles, they kind of all differ slightly. There's patterns and markings on the tiles whereby it's not uniform. Like each one is supposed to be different. And it's very rare that you'd find two exactly the same. This is just a marking that will come off when I eventually get around to mopping everything. But yeah, this is where we are. So, as you can see, there's been a lot of progress. Um, as mentioned, the builders have been working really, really hard, so massive thanks to them. And basically, we're now in a position whereby we can have our kitchen installed in a couple of days, which is crazy. I'm so, so excited, but also a bit nervous that it's actually now all coming together and yeah, it's actually all happening. So the next couple of videos will be of the kitchen install and you can see how that transforms into the space, how it's going to be built up. And yeah, well, we're finally getting there. It seems crazy to think that this project has been talked about and planned since before COVID and now only now we're getting to it. So it's definitely been in our minds, we had the vision for it and now we finally, finally can say it's happening. So we're just super thrilled and can't wait to share more content with you on the actual kitchen, all the appliances. I just can't wait to move into that space. That is today's video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, tick that notification bell if you want to be updated with all the videos that I'll be sharing on motherhood, house transformation, home decor, all of that stuff, like product reviews as well. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.